Peter, you've been dubbed a young Steven Spielberg. How do you feel about that? Um, I think it's really brilliant and flattering because he's my idol of all idols. Um, but say so right now, I'm just trying to um, focus on what projects I have my heart in. Um, I'm trying to write a feature film myself, and I'm, I've always wanted to try and like lift off like at a young age. I'm 22 now, but um, I can only hope to um, aspire to his dizzy heights of success. But I say I'll just keep plugging away with what I feel um, strongest about. Your award-winning first film, Betty and Sam, how did that get made? What was the inspiration behind that film? Um, Betty and Sam, for me, it was uh, a tribute to the Irish folk tales um, I read as a, a child and loved so much. Um, it's a supernatural tale about an old couple who don't have their wishes avenged by this um, cruel undertaker. Um, so these kind of eerie consequences and vengeance result uh, because of this. Um, I've always been interested in ghost stories um, and this for me, I say, was a way of um, showing my love for that kind of genre. It was filmed in Farnham um, at my college, the Surrey Institute of Art and Design. It was my graduation film and to help fund it, uh, we worked as extras in the Ridley Scott film Gladiator. Um, we worked on that for about three weeks. Um, we filmed in the same woods that they filmed as, um, pretty much at the same time. Um, the big Hollywood film crew was only like usually a few, a matter of a few hundred yards away from where we were doing our wee film. Um, so we had a ball like in Surrey, it was such a beautiful location. It's all very flat mm -hmm. and um, we filmed in a also Brookwood Cemetery. We were the first people to film there since uh, Gregory Peck's The Omen oh. was filmed. Um, so we had a ball there, it was really spooky because uh, there was a night shoot. And uh, you know, we heard like kind of a few strange like screams and things, yeah, eyes <laughs> and all. Um, so they kind of freaked us out a wee bit, but it was, um, but it was a real challenge and very rewarding. Working in Gladiator was brilliant because I was right beside uh, Ridley Scott. Um, I was so lucky to be as part part of the first unit, one of the extras, right up beside um, Russell Crowe. Um, so I saw, got, got to see him acting with Richard Harris and Joaquin Phoenix in the opening scenes. Um, then again, we also got the that it was like being children again, running around with swords and just like <laughs> you were a Roman people. soldier. Yeah, I was a Roman Phoenix trooper. <laughs> I had, to, had to fight the German barbarians. Um, by the River Tiber. That looked pretty rough, Peter. You weren't injured, were you? I was hurt, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple of bruises, but no, it was great fun. Um, worked for about three weeks. It was freezing cold, but everyone was having such a ball running about the place in mud and big swords and axes. And when you looked at Ridley Scott, did you think, that's what I want to do? I did. I thought he's, he's a main man. He's brilliant, and he was so... He was so um, so determined and uh, clear in what he wanted when he was instructing the other members of his crew and he seemed to have total control over the whole DreamWorks crew at all times, you know. He was always aware of everything that was going on. Sam Raimi, the director of The Evil Dead and the forthcoming Spider-Man, he sent me a great letter when I was 17 and he I asked him for advice about um, this bit of pep talk about how I should yeah. try and go for films. Um, because in The Evil Dead was an independent film and ended up being such a smash hit. Um, he said, um, the best advice I could give to you is not to wait for anything or anybody. Do it yourself. And uh, that's the philosophy I'm following right now.